Closed captions can help elevate your short form content to new levels. And we're seeing all the top creators use closed captions on all their short form content. But adding those closed captions to your content could be a very tedious task, but no longer. To do this, we're gonna be utilizing our streaming software called OBS. Also, if you want to help me reach 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. The first thing we're going to do is go to the description in this video, scroll down a little bit and click on the link for closed caption via Google speech. Once that's open, we're going to click on the go to download button. It'll bring us to a GitHub page and then we're going to scroll down a little bit and then click on the windows.zip folder. Now that we have the file downloaded, all we're going to do is right click on it, go down to extract all, and then we're going to click extract. We will then click into this folder a couple of times and we're going to copy the OBS Google Caption plugin. We will then go to where our OBS studio is installed. For the vast majority of you, it's going to be in C program files, then backslash OBS studio. Once we're there, we're going to click on OBS plugins, 64 bit, and then we're going to right click and then paste our plugin into that location. With our OBS open, the first thing we want to do is add a source. We're going to click on add source, then we're going to click on text GDI. You see I have captions here already, but we're just going to call it captions. I'll call it two because I already got one and then click OK. We will then just click OK for now. Then we're going to click on tools and then cloud close captions. As you see, it's already trying to capture everything I'm trying to say. Might not do that for you, but that's OK. We're going to hit on settings. Then what we're going to do under capture source, yours won't be set to this, but you're going to find your microphone, select your microphone. Caption when caption source is heard on stream. We want to make sure that is selected English or your local language that you prefer to use. Output two for yours, it will be set to streams only. We want to change to streams and local recordings. We want to change from lines to default four or five to lines two. add punctuation. If you wish caption timeout. I would actually set this to roughly five seconds. Then we want to go to transcripts real quick. See that there's a whole bunch of settings there. We're not going to use any of them. We're going to go to open captions. We're going to make sure our text source, we're going to select our captions. Mine says captions too, but we're just going to select captions for you. Line length, probably 20 is okay. You could do a little bit more or a little bit less. That's going to be an experimentation for you. Again, lines to two, add punctuation if you like to, and normal English like. After that, we go to text filtering. As we see, there's nothing really there, so we don't really have to worry about it. After that, we're just gonna hit save. So right now we see that our captions are being generated on the top left hand side. Before we move them, what we wanna do is just double click on captions. We wanna click on select font and find the font that works for us the best. I'm gonna go down to eraser because it just matches my theme a little bit better. And I'm gonna click on that. I can adjust sizes here. So if you think your text is a little bit too big, you can just change the size right there. But I'm going to choose probably uh, probably 24 and then click OK. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of a background color to help our text pop a little. So I'm going to click on select color, click on black. It might be set to white or something different. And then I'm going to choose background opacity. I'm going to crank that up to about 50%. And as you can see, it's helping our text pop a little bit. Then I want to scroll down to alignment, make sure it's set to center, vertical alignment, make sure it's set to top. And then I want to click on outline. Outline adds a little bit of, well, outline to our text. So we're going to change our outline color. I like blue, yellow can really help it pop, but I personally like blue. I'm going to click OK. Outline opacity, I'm going to change that to 50% as well. And as you can see, a nice little outline is now appearing on our text. If we're happy with all the settings we chose, we're just going to click OK. Then we're going to move our text and we're going to make it either a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. And I don't know, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. If you were only trying to get closed captions on your live streams or content that you're going to make in the near future, you're pretty well done. But if you want to add closed captions to your pre-recorded content, this is how we're gonna do it. The first thing we're gonna need to do is add a new scene. So we're gonna click on the little plus icon on the bottom left hand side, call it closed captions or CC, click okay. Then we are gonna go under sources, click on that. We're gonna click on text GDI plus and add our captions. We will then need to click on tools. Once again, go down to cloud closed captions, click on the settings button change caption source from a mic to desktop audio. So when we play our audio, 
on our web browser or whatever video, it actually records that instead. And then we're going to hit save. Then what we're going to do is just open up the video of the random VTuber Senpai and just click play to see to make sure that's actually capturing desktop audio. Audio is the most important thing for your live streams and your video content. Awesome, it works. Now all you'll have to do is make sure you add a green screen behind those closed captions, import it into your video editing program of choice, take away the green screen, and well, all that hard work is now done. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I upload here on YouTube every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I also stream here on YouTube every Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So come on by, say hi, and well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.